We're now in chapter 10, talking about extending perimeter, circumference, and area. And this is about literal equations. We're at 10.1a. A literal equation contains two or more variables and formulas that we've used to find perimeter, circumference, area, and side relationships of right triangles are examples of literal equations. And if we want to evaluate a formula for several different values of a given variable, it's helpful to solve for the variable first. Emma plans to use 50 feet of fencing to build a dog run. We can use the formula for perimeter P equals 2L plus 2W to find the length L when the width W is 4, 5, 6, and 10 feet. We solve the equation for L by rearranging the formula. So we start with P equals 2L plus 2W. We want to solve for L, so we just subtract 2W from each side of the equal sign. And that'll give us 1L is equal to the quotient of P minus 2W and 2. And this is a literal equation. Now we use our rearranged formula to find L for each value of W, that 4, 5, 6, and 10. So we've set up our formula for the width to be 4, 5, 6, or 10. She has 50 feet of fencing, so P is going to be 50 minus 2 times 4, which is 8, which gives us a 42. We divide that by the 2, and we get 21 feet. If the width is a 5, we're going to have 50 minus 10, which gives us a 40 divided by 2, which gives us 20 feet for L. If the width is 6, then we end up with 38 divided by 2, which is 19 feet for the length. If it's 10 for the width, we're going to end up with 30 divided by 2, which is 15 feet for the length. So we were able to substitute the different values for the width to find the different values for the length for Emma's dog run. The Pythagorean theorem is a literal equation. A right triangle has a hypotenuse of length C equals 65 feet. So we can even draw a little diagram to help us. We can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of leg A when the length of leg B is 16, 25, 33, and 39 feet. So we start with A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's the Pythagorean theorem. We solve the equation for A squared by rearranging the formula. We can subtract this B squared from each side of the equal sign, which will give us A squared is equal to C squared minus B squared. We have a squared equals c squared minus b squared. 4b is 16 feet. We put in our values. c squared would be 65 squared minus 16 squared. That would be 4,225 minus 256, which gives us 3,969. We remove this little two exponent by putting a radical sign around this side of the equal sign, and we get 63 feet. It's not 63 feet squared because we didn't have 65 squared in the beginning. We only had 65, didn't we? We squared it to put it into the formula. If the value of B is 25 feet, then we have 65 squared minus 25 squared. Now we have the 4,225 minus 625. That gives us 3,600. We remove the little two exponent by putting a radical sign around that side. Get 60 feet. So you can see we're using the same value for c squared, the 4,225 for the 65 squared. We're just substituting in the other values for leg B. If leg B is 33 feet, then we have the 65 squared minus 33 squared. That means we're going to subtract 1,089 from 65 squared. That's going to give us 3,136. And we remove the little two exponent by putting a radical sign around this side. We find the square of 3136, and it comes out as 56 feet. And here's our last 
value for leg B, it's 39 feet. So we have 39 squared here in our rearranged formula. So now it means we have 4,225 minus 1,521. That's 39 squared. It's going to equal 2,704. So we take the little two exponent off by putting a radical sign around this, and we end up with 52 feet. So these are examples of literal equations. Our lesson 10.1 is split into four parts. This was the first part. We're next going to talk about area addition postulate and the area of a parallelogram in 10.1b. Then we're going to move on to area of triangles and trapezoids and then area of rhombuses and kites for the rest of 10.1. So now you know what a literal equation is. It's an equation that contains two or more variables. And I hope this was helpful. Hit the like button if it was. It really helps me out on YouTube to let them know that my videos are helpful. And I'll see you next time. Bye.